Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a new edition of the Jazz Plays, Radio Havana Cuba's weekly program featuring tracks from the Cuban jazz scene and beyond. I'm Jorge Millares, and on this edition, I'll be playing tracks from the city Havana in the Grand Manor by Cuban pianist Hernán López Nusa. This album was the recipient of the Cuba Disco 2023 Award in the category of jazz. Nan has described this CD as his tribute to the time and the world of Felipe Dulcides, a pianist and founder of Los Armonicos. Dulcides and his band were unforgettable contributors to the ambience of Havana Nights in the 1980s. They had their headquarters at Havana Rivera's Hotel Club El Elegante. Lopez Nusa affirms that in his youth, he used to visit El Elegante quite frequently and described it as an essential place to listen to good music, to jam, and to learn the art of pleasing a demanding and discerning audience. I will tell you more about the conception of this album after we we'll listen to a couple of tracks from it. The first is Cherezada, authored by Frank Emilio Flynn, and it will be followed by Mambo Inn, authored by Mario Bauza. <laughs>
That was Mambo In, and it was preceded by Sherezada, arranged and performed by Hernán López Nusa and his band. I'm Jorge Millares, and you're tuned to the International Airways of Radio Havana, Cuba. And this evening I'm playing tracks from López Nusa's CD, Havana in the Grand Manor. It was the recipient of the Cuba Disco Award 2023 in the jazz category. Hernán explained that the project behind this album originated from the personal and emphatic work of visual artist Felipe Dulcides Jr., who presented, in an edition of the Havana Biennial, an exhibition gathering documents, objects, and testimonies of his father's musical career. This well-combined set of emotions, which also described Felipe Dulcides' life, led Lopez Nusa into a journey of finding standards and appropriations for the album. At the time of recording it, he added, he took the opportunity not only to pay homage to Felipe Lucides, but to other important musicians who also made an impression on him, such as Frank Emilio Flynn, Pedro Justis Peruchin, Dave Brubeck, Miles Davis, and George Shering, among others. Up next is the track, Love is Here to Stay.
that was George Sherin's Love is Here to Stay. And for this experimental game, as Hernán López Nusa has described this album, he said he relied upon young musicians, high exponents of contemporary Cuban jazz, instrumentalists who did not live the experience of Felipe Dulceires, but nevertheless reproduced from their vast knowledge, the emotionality, and the feeling of the so-called cool jazz. Hernán was a um, piano and vibraphone, Hector Quintana Ferreiro on guitar, the veteran Enrique Pla is on um, most of the tracks on drums, though Oliver Valdez Fumero is also on drums in two tracks, and Samuel Burgos Martinez was on double bass. From the city, here's Tom Jobin's Llora Tu Tristeza.
You're tuned to the International Airways of Radio Havana, Cuba, and we just heard Llora Tu Tristeza. And uh, this evening, I have played some of the tracks included in the city Havana in the Grand Manor by pianist Hernán López Nusa. That CD was the winner of Cuba Disco 2023 in the category of jazz. And to wrap up the program, here's Hernán's rendition of Eliseo Granet's Drume Negrita. I'm Jorge Millares, inviting you to join me on the next edition of The Jazz Plays. Until next time.
for Radio Havana Cuba's The Jazz Place, I'm Jorge Millares.